protests continue worldwide against anti-black racism in the aftermath of George Floyd's killing in Minneapolis just a few weeks ago. Now, groups gathered here at home as well. Our Brandon Rowe has more on that from on that story from downtown Toronto. It shouldn't have taken an extreme murder like what happened to Mr. Floyd to get the attention. Um, and we hope that it will, you know, it'll be the last. We hope it'll be the last. Hundreds filled Old City Hall today echoing the same message. Upset it took a heinous murder to get us to this point, but proud to use their voices to spark an end to anti-black racism. This has been a long time coming. Uh, many of us have been fighting and trying to highlight the impact that racism has. And so to see people come out, support, and more importantly, voice their support, not just observe from the sidelines, um, you know, is, is promising. I think the verdict is still out on how this translates into change and concrete action. At least 15 organizations stood together calling on all levels of government to step in. It's time that the politicians recognize that justice is, has to happen now and it has to happen for humanity. We can no longer uphold a racist, a biased system in favor of oppression. It has to be about justice and, and liberty and what's right for all human beings. Nia Singh is a lawyer representing the family of Regis Korchinski Paquette, the woman who fell to her death after police were called to her home. The case is currently being investigated by the SIU, but Singh says it isn't an outlier. The tragedy of Regis Korchinski Paquette is what's on the tip of the tongue for everybody right now. How can someone call for help and end up dead. And what we have to do is demand recommendations that have been um, recommended by Justice Tullock in, in regards to police oversight. And we also have to demand transparency in investigations and hold people accountable, hold officers accountable, but hold the entire institution of policing um, accountable. City News asked Toronto Mayor John Tory his thoughts on the rally and what he and council plan on doing to tackle anti-black racism. And I think it is going to spur those of us in positions of responsibility to do more. I'll be bringing forward some thoughts this week on some things we can be do, doing on the policing front. Other city councillors are working on things we can uh, bring forward to the city council. Applause for the 14th Division. Less than three kilometres away, another protest was held, but by a different group. Hundreds marched from Christie Pitts to Queen's Park to call out police brutality and anti-black racism in the States and right here in Canada. No, I won't. Be Mayor John Tory also told City News that he agrees that racism against black and indigenous Torontonians is real and is happening and that he is committed to a number of initiatives including police reform with the hopes of curbing its impact in Toronto. Brandon Rose, City News.